you ever had? How do you think it went for you? Thanks, Thanks Tony. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think it's, um, you know, it's something where every week uh, you just want to keep improving um, and kind of try to flush that last week, regardless if it's, you know, really good, really bad. Uh, just continue to, you know, improve every week and make sure every week's better than last week, regardless of the outcome of last week. So that's really all I'm focused on right now. Obviously, you've been doing this in scrimmages since the spring. But did it feel different with all the fans in the sand, uh, you know, knowing it counted out there a little bit? Yeah, you know, it's always it's always a little different, you know, especially week one, everybody, you know, you're so ready to go and you get, you know, all hyped up and then you got to kind of just settle back in and realize, like, this is exactly what I've been doing in fall camp. It's just, you know, finally we're going to go against people that aren't on our team and, um, you know, really, you know, give all our effort and just try to open up holes for the backs and block as long as we can for Devin. Jagger, uh, improving communication was a big talking point for Liam. For you as a center, what does that mean? Is he getting calls in early? Is he recognizing fronts? What do you have to improve on there? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, with communicating and stuff, it's, it's a weird balance. You know, you want to you wanna be really good at communicating, but you don't want to communicate too much. And yeah. I think at times, uh, Saturday, we definitely did that. You know, we kind of communicated a little too much. And, um, you know, we talked about that, and it's something that, you know, this is where we get better at it in practice. And it's, it's something that is a real vocal point, focus point for us this week. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to just uh, get out there on Saturday and, you know, see the improvements we made, and that's what it's all about. That's why I need to work on some things. It's still one sack allowed. That's a huge difference from last year. So, yeah. you know, how do you guys continue to keep that up, right? One or zero, keeping Leary protected. Yeah, kind of like what I said earlier, I think it's, um, you know, flush last week's performance. Uh, you know, we're, we're happy about it on Sunday, and then just kind of back to work on Monday. Uh, you know, we want zero. We don't want one. So always striving for that and striving, you know, there was – some plays where Devin made us look good up front and uh, plays that, sh you know, maybe should have been a sack and weren't. So uh, we're just kind of trying to eliminate those, um, you know, bust and protection and protect Devin as much as we can because he's special when, he, when he's protected. As an in-state guy, how fun is it to go against a team like EKU? Yeah, you know, it's fun. Uh, last week was fun too. We had, uh, I think, two guys on Douglas, uh, from Douglas that were there. So it was good to see those guys. And then this week, I know there's two or three on, D on Douglas for EKU. So, you know, just, Getting to see some guys you play high school ball, it's always fun, especially, you know, when they're doing great things too. So, um, you know, it'll be a fun game and, uh, you know, we're worried about us and, you know, win another game. With Kenneth going down, how do you feel Dylan stepped up in his, in his spot? Yeah, I mean, I feel like Dylan did a great job, you know. Um, it's something that Stoops preaches a lot is, you know, prepare every week like you're a starter or you're a star player. And, you know, I think he took that to heart and he did that this week and it, it showed up on Saturday. You know, he went in there and um, it didn't, we didn't really miss a beat. You know, he kind of just stepped in. He knew what to do. Uh, he did his job good. And, um, you know, we'll just keep building on that this week until a horse he gets back. Game one down. After watching the film, does the offensive line have a goal this week that you guys would like to work on in practice? Uh, you know, I think, I think our goal is just, you know, like I said earlier, protect Devin as much as we can. Uh, zero sacks is obviously the, the main goal. And then, you know, open up holes for Ray. You know, maybe 300 rushing yards for Ray, you know, whatever um, the game allows for. You know, games have different flows and you want to either run the ball or pass the ball. You, know, you never know. So um, I would say the biggest one is just, you know, trying to keep the sack number as low as possible and just protecting Devin for as long as we can. When you have a, an opening game, everybody's hyped and amped up to play. And then you have some weird circumstances where there's a defensive score, a special team score. Is it kind of frustrating to sit on the sideline for so long and want to get back out there? Yeah, it was a little frustrating. We kind of talked about it on Sunday. Just it felt like we were sitting there for a long time, you know, with the, the scoop and score and then the kick return for Barron. And you're obviously super excited and happy. Uh, but then it just kind of me and, me and Eli were kind of joking about it after the game. And I was like, man, I stopped sweating. And I, I sweat a bunch. So it's like, I know we didn't get that many snaps. And then we came in, I think it was like 58 or 59 snaps. Um, so, yeah, it was just a weird game with the, the flow of it and the rhythm of it. But, you know, you never know. I mean, that could be any game during the season. you got to be ready for it, um, you know, ready ready for whatever rhythm the game is. And if the defense makes plays, and they make plays. And, you know, we'll sit on the sideline and root them on. What did you think you did on gun snaps, and snaps overall? And how, did, how different is it in a game compared to doing it in practice? Yeah, it's something that, um, you know, I, I'm continuing to work on. I've got, a, I've got a lot of snaps, obviously, and it's just something where, and a game, it's it's always a little different. You know, you're always thinking about it a little bit more. When I come out here, it's, you know, I'm not really thinking about it. And that's something that I just kind of want to get back to on the game on Saturday is just, you know, mindlessly, you know, snapping the ball. I've done it so many times. It's it's such a, you know, I don't know, like a rhythmic move, movement for me because I have so many reps at it. I think sometimes on Saturday I was just, you know, worried about it, thinking about it too much, you know, first time snapping in the game. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to focus on that uh, this week for sure.